In the last episode, I said this. If you want to hear in the next episode about the times when I used to dress like Spongebob to try and get female attention, we'll talk about that in the next one. So you know what? Let's talk about it. How did it get to the stage where I was pretty much dressing like a human banana or Spongebob Squarepants or something like that? Well, all is about to be revealed. Back in the day, before university, I didn't go clubbing particularly much. I turned 18 probably about nine months before I went off to university. And loads of my friends, they didn't turn 18, which is the legal drinking age in the UK, they didn't turn 18 until uh, right before we left for university anyway. So unless I wanted to go on nights out by myself, it was kind of pointless. I remember in those early days, when you go on nights out, you always want to put an effort into how you look. Because really, when it comes down to it, guys like to go on nights out to get attention from women. That seems to be a lot of the, the attraction of it to me. However, the, the pictures speak for themselves. When it came to dressing appropriately for nightclubs and stuff, I really didn't have much of an idea. On the first week of university, for instance, I was wearing stuff like jumpers on nights out. I don't know what came over me for me to think like a sweater was a good idea because in a nightclub where it's already pretty hot, layering up for winter maybe isn't the wisest move. Sure, it keeps you warm outside, but you don't half boil up inside. There's other stuff too. My hair was always a mess. Maybe we'll save that one for another video, but it was always weird, greasy, flat, dead. Pointless. Even stuff like blazers and that as well. I'm, I'm looking through my old Facebook pictures. Really, for the types of clubs I was going in, a blazer just isn't appropriate. It's overkill, man. It, it, it's overkill. Not even just sweaters and blazers. I've, I've seen pictures of myself in, in cardigans on nights out. I don't know. It's dreadful. I did experiment with a bit less though as well. I remember definitely wearing some long sleeve shirts on nights out, maybe in an effort to not pass out and sweat buckets. But half of these, I'm watching them now and, and they're just terrible. Not necessarily just the style, but the way that I was wearing them too. With the typical 18 year old mistake of doing the button right up to the top every single time. Completely pointless, doesn't do anything, doesn't make you look cool. It certainly didn't make me look cool. And I realized that whatever I was trying, it wasn't working because when I was going out to these clubs and stuff, I'd see other guys being able to pretty much kiss who they wanted. And I wasn't basically, not at all. I thought, you know, I need to start changing something. So I started looking at the guys around in the club, you know, these guys that the girls tended to go for. I thought to myself, you know, there must be something that these guys are doing that I'm not. And obviously the main one you look at is appearance looks wise what are they doing and i noticed that lots of them were wearing shorter sleeves they were wearing stuff that admittedly made them freeze to death in the queue outside but then when inside it just seemed appropriate and i thought i need to get on that bandwagon so i did and i just bought loads of short sleeve shirts and that was tactical it was tactical because I went for the short sleeved shirts rather than like a polo shirt. Luckily back then, apart from jeans, which you saw in the last episode, if you missed that one, um, I was generally quite good at picking stuff that fitted. So when it came to tops, I knew that on my really skinny frame at the time, that a short sleeved shirt tended to look better than one of the polo shirts. Most designs from most of the brands I tried fitted a bit better through the torso. And also it looked like a good halfway house between the long sleeve shirts that some guys were wearing and then the regular t-shirts like this one that other guys were wearing and maybe looked fractionally more dressy than a regular t-shirt. So I just spammed it, I just bought millions of them. This picture here, if I can find it, is genuinely me trying to choose one for a night out. And I guess I saw some success with this. For one, I wasn't, you know, sweating to death in a club and it gave me more confidence as well because, you know, I felt comfortable in the temperature as opposed to when I was wearing the thick pullover jumpers. And I think there is something to be said in all truth for a guy who is willing to expose a little bit more skin. I don't know the exact psychology of this, but I'm sure that in environments like, you know, student unions, warm nightclubs, full of young people, and loads of guys wearing stuff that covers all their arms. I do think that if you've got something slightly shorter on, you're showing more of your body. I think it does show a bit more confidence, maybe subconsciously. 
and I do remember feeling more confident and that sort of stuff. However, at that time, as with lots of universities, there's kind of lots of competition, let's say. For the women that you want to attract in these nightclubs, you know, there's going to be lots of guys that are probably interested too. And even within, you know, friendship groups, I remember that there was uh, a bit of a peer pressure within the friendship groups and people were you know bragging about having done this and that and you felt almost the need to sort of keep one up in each other and I absolutely you know succumbed to that I was really bad at succumbing to peer pressure as a kid and I was willing to try pretty much anything in order to get the attention of women but the thing is guys if you want to get my attention then there's only one place you need to be in under a month's time and that's the gentleman's grooming and lifestyle show november 17th and 18th i'll be there november the 17th you've got some of the coolest exhibitors in the country everything to do with men's grooming men's fashion in one of the coolest spots in london well worth a trip tickets are super cheap you get a free haircut Free shoe shine if you want one, goodie bags, whiskey, what more can you ask for? And I'll be there filming some videos and stuff too, so if you want to be on the other end of this camera with me, then you might have the chance to there. I'll leave a link to the event or a code or something in the description below so that you can get the tickets at the best possible price. And great news, I have managed to get you a discount. You can use the code BENARTHUR at checkout. All as one word gets you 20% off your tickets meaning it's even less, it's only eight quid now. I think it's super good value for money and hopefully can't wait to see some of you there. Either way, back to the story. Yeah, I was willing really to try anything to get more attention. And I was seeing some guys out on these nights out wearing really garish tops. Often they were part of these socials. So like a sports team would go out on a night out and dress in stupid stuff as like the theme of the night. And often, it was a good conversation starter seemingly. And even though they were wearing stuff that was objectively terrible, they were still getting attention. And admittedly, I completely overlooked the fact that half of these guys were really naturally good looking. And I just jumped to the idea of, I need to get something a bit like that. Now I didn't want to go for one of these ones that was super baggy, like what those guys were wearing, because my physique at the time, my lack of muscle, my super high metabolism, it just, would have looked terrible and it would have made me look like even more of a bag of bones so i thought you know what i need to go for something in between i need to use my knowledge i wanted to go for a halfway house between what i was already wearing and something like that so i could get attention initiate conversations look super duper confident so i decided to take things to the extreme and i started wearing stuff that basically looked like uh, an old person's wallpaper with weird shapes and patterns all over to give every girl an epileptic fit. Yeah, but in all truth, um, yeah, there's some weird patterns in there, but I also started to go for some brighter colors because I figured in these nightclubs, you know, sometimes the lights are pretty low and it's hard to, to tell people apart, especially when every guy in there's got the same haircut. I wanted to be able to stand out. I had this problem really with external verification. I, I wanted girls to try and be attracted to me in order to make me feel good about myself it's not a healthy circle but either way it got to the stage where i then was wearing super bright colors including uh, the pick of the bunch the one in the thumbnail the uh, bright yellow garish simpsons top now this one i think maybe with this one was a, a bridge too far i remember at the time it fitted me really well to be honest and that's maybe one of the reasons that i uh, chose that one in the end but this is what i called the the peacocking shirt and the idea of peacocking is kind of the ethos of this video it's the idea that you can wear something that is really terrible but that makes you stand out from all the rest of the guys around there you're the peacock among the chickens to be honest even back then i would never have wore something like this on a day-to-day -day basis. This was strictly for crazy nightclub nights. Because if I was wearing something like that in the day, I mean, that would have really secured my status as an idiot. Surprisingly though, it kind of worked. I distinctly remember having more success wearing this compared to what I was wearing before. It definitely, there's some psychology thing behind it. Don't get me wrong though, you know, I wouldn't be seen dead in something like that now. The question is, should you go for something like that? Should you be wearing stuff that makes you look like a banana? Probably not. Because at that time, you know, mentally, I, I wasn't quite right. It was one of those times in my life where my, it's kind of like my self value was quite low. I was going to these extreme measures in order to try and get girls to please girls, to then get something back from them, to try and verify my existence almost. And I don't think that any guy should 
have to get to that stage. The real thing that matters is, is yourself and you should be confident in wearing anything because you should love yourself before anything else. But either way, looking back on it, some of that stupid stuff I was wearing, it's pretty funny. Maybe if you attend that event in London, maybe I'll bring that shirt with me, I don't know. If you missed the last episode where I covered my traumatic experience with spray-on jeans, then you can click that one down below here and press the round icon up here to subscribe so you don't miss the next one, in which we'll be covering some of my apocalyptic hairstyle mistakes. See you in the next one, boys. Cheers. Does this look familiar?